Once there was a beautiful city, called Sedan. In this city, there lived the married couples. The name of the married couples were, Abraham To, and Princess To. Things was okay when they got married. After a month, everything started to go bad. Honey, your food is ready. What did you prepare today? I have prepared your favorite dish. Just tell me, what is it? I have prepared, bread, eggs and tea. What? Who told you, that I wanted to eat that? You are such a stupid woman. Honey, there is no reason to be mad, I thought you love it, and that why, I have prepared it. You know what, you can have it. I am going to work. But honey, can you just eat a little bit of it? Princess. I said, I don't want to eat. Goodbye. Something wrong has happened to my husband. We were very happy, in the past few weeks, but now everything have turned outside down. Oh God, please help me out of this trouble. I am on my way there. I will be there in 15 minutes. Hi man, what is happening to you? You look worried. Don't worry. I am okay. How is your wife? Is she okay? She is okay. We have so many work to do, but first, I would like us to have some breakfast. Okay, let us move. Hi friend. Hello, my best friend princess. Can I come to your house? I want to spend a little time with you. Yes, you can come. I am so glad that you came. Wow. This place is nice. Thanks you. Lovely. What is it that you wanted to talk about? Okay. I am planning on going to the beach by tomorrow, and I was hoping, if you could join me. Let us go, and have some fine time together. There will be handsome guys on the beach, you know that, right? Yes, I know, but I can't follow you. I am a married woman now. Okay, it is fine by me. I won't force you to do anything against your will. Thanks for understanding me. I think it's time, I should be going now. Okay. See you around. Goodbye. How your marriage going on? Yes, we're okay. But I can't just understand what is going on between my wife and I. What are you talking about? I can't just understand what you are saying. I love my wife, but whenever I'll get home, I start to dislike her. I call her all kinds of horrible names and say all types of horrible words to her. But she never get angry at me, she always on her knees, apologizing for no reason. Man, it looks like something evil has taken control of my body. And it causes me to dislike my wife, whenever I get home. Someone not just want to see me happy. This is not a physical situation. You need to consult a pastor, or a medicine doctor. What? There is no reason to do that. I will be okay. Besides, I don't believe in pastors. Okay then. Let continue the fun. <laughs> oh God, I pray that my husband will be okay. There are so many evil things that are happening to him, but no weapon formed against him shall prosper. I pray that our marriage will be a peaceful one. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, Amen. <sighs> Come in, the door is open. Good evening my husband, how is work today? Leave me alone, you ugly woman. I don't want to see you. What happened to your eyes, honey? Your eyes are red. You need to see a doctor, or a pastor. 
It is not of your business. I hit you, princess. You are such a stupid woman. Your eyes look horrible. I said leave me alone. I don't want to see you anywhere near me tonight. You should sleep in the living room. I don't want to see you in my room. Good night, you stupid and ugly woman. <laughs> what is happening to my husband? This situation is getting out of hands. Something has taken control of my husband. I need to do something before it gets too late. I must see my pastor by tomorrow morning. I think he will help me. And so she did. Early the next day, she got on a car and drove to the pastor house. She explained the matter to the pastor, and he said, This is no a physical problem, it is a spiritual problem, but God Almighty will make it possible for your good. Amen, pastor, amen. I will be in prayer with you, but I will strongly advise you to bring your husband to church tomorrow. My husband doesn't believe in pastors, he said, it is waste of time. But I will try to bring him. Okay, my daughter. See you later, pastor. After the discussion, Princess shook the pastor hand and left the house. On her way back home, she saw Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown is her husband's best friend. They spoke to each other, and Mr. Brown said, Can I take you to a restaurant? I have something very important to tell you. Yes, we can go. It has been a long time, we haven't seen each other. Okay, I am coming in. Come in. They went to the latest restaurant in town. Mr. Brown bought some food, and they ate. After some time, Princess looked at Mr. Brown, and said, What is it, that you want to tell me? So, how is your marriage? We are okay, my husband, and I are doing fine. Princess, there is no reason to lie. What do you mean by that? I can see from your eyes that, you are not doing okay. You look stress up. What is it? Tell me, maybe I will help you out. Okay, I will tell you. I want you to talk to your friend. Tell him that he has been possessed by an evil spirit. He needs to be delivered, before it get too late. <laughs> Princess, there is no reason to be in this relationship. I love you. Leave Mr. Toe, and come to me. I will make you happy. I will do, whatever it takes, to make you happy, again. No, I can't do that. I am married. I love my husband, and he loves me too. There is no way, I am leaving my husband. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you actually think, that your husband love you? Yes, I do. He has fallen in love with another person, and that is why, he has been acting so strange, these past days. No, that can't be true. My husband love me, and he will not do anything to hurt me. Okay, watch, and see. You know what, I am leaving, have a good day. <laughs> women, women, women. They are not hard to deal with. Oh, great man of our time. The wicked man, that have ever lived. I have come to your solution temple. What is it, that you want my daughter? The gods are here, to hear your cry. I have used the spiritual powers, you have given me, and they are doing just fine. Is that not enough, my daughter? No, great man, they are not enough. I want to see them suffer more. I want the husband of princess, to forget about her completely. Who is she to get married before me? Who is she to have a better family than I? I am going to make their lives a living hell. Sorry to interrupt. If you was wondering who was responsible for all those troubles and temptations, now you have your answer. It was Princess Best Friend. Her name is Lovely David. Oh my god. I just can't believe it. If you are watching this video right now, remember what the Bible verses say. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 36, say. A man enemies, is of his own household. Your best friend, can be your worst enemy. You can continue with your video now, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, 
and get notified to watch more of our videos. Thanks you. I want you to help me get rid of my enemies. I want him to kick her out of the house also. Very good my daughter. The gods have heard your cry and your wish will be fulfilled. You can leave now. Go! Okay, great man. I am leaving. After Lovely visited her great man place, things started to get worse. Abraham was not coming home regularly, and whenever he gets home, he appears with a red eyes, and a devil horns, and also a red skin. The situation was getting out of hands. One day, as Princess was sitting, thinking of her husband's condition, she received a phone call from her pastor. Hello Princess. Hello Pastor. The Lord was, able to reveal something, to me last night concerning, your situation. Tell me Pastor, I am listening. Lovely, is the one responsible for all that, is happening to you, and your husband. Your best friend, does not want to see you happy. She looks beautiful, funny, and harmless, but her heart is evil. Okay Pastor, thanks God very much. I will be in prayer with you, my child. Have faith in the Lord, and he will fight your battle for you. Goodbye, Princess. Goodbye Pastor. I can't just believe it, my best friend don't want to see me happy. What kind of friendship is this? Wonder shall never end. After hearing this, Princess wouldn't believe it. She thought for a while, and started to cry. She never thought that, her best friend could do such a horrible things to her. A few minutes later, a call come in. Hello, my best friend. How are you? Is everything okay? <laughs> there is no need to cry. I am coming to your house. <laughs> your sorrow has just begun. You stupid girl. Hearing this, Princess got afraid. She started to worry. Princess looked up to God and said, Oh God Almighty, you said in your words that suffer, the witch not to live, but to die. I am calling on you now, anyone who does not want to see me happy, should fall down and die. In Jesus Christ, name I pray, Amen. Out of a sudden, lovely car, made an accident, and she died. A few minutes later, a television new came in, saying, This is the voice, of the people. We have just received the sorrowful news. Five minutes ago, a car made an accident, and a woman died in the accident. Her name is Lovely, Davids. The government has taken the body, to the nearby hospital. This is all we have for you today, and don't forget to like this video you are watching and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye. Hearing this, Princess was relieved. She started thanking God, for saving her life, and her family lives. Out of a sudden, a doorbell rang. When a stranger came in, it was Princess Husband. He looks happy, and well satisfied. He looks at Princess, and said, Hello my love. How are you? Hello my husband. Welcome home. They look at each other and kissed. The trouble was over, and they were in peace at once. The couples live happily ever after. The end. Friends, that how, I was able to get my husband back. Remember in this life, your best friend, can be your worst enemy. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe, and also get notified to watch more of our cartoon videos. Thanks you. Goodbye my friend.